Welcome to this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. I'm Denzel Johnson. And I'm Callie Rice. Santa Clara University is thrilled to welcome J.R. Payne as the ninth head women's basketball coach. I Bronco reporter David Gentile sat down with the future head coach to talk about the upcoming season. Denzel and Callie, thank you. I'm David Gentile here with the ninth head women's basketball coach in the history of Santa Clara women's basketball. It's J.R. Payne. Coach, welcome back to campus. Great to have you on here as you embark on your journey trying to build up this program at Santa Clara. What was most appealing to you about this job here at SCU? Oh boy, so many, so many different things. <laughs> you know, the idea of, of um, being in the West Coast Conference where I played and coached before and then just my experience the year that I was here at Santa Clara, you know, was just phenomenal. And um, so really just the opportunity to sort of come home. Well, Coach, you come back to Santa Clara after five years as a head coach of Southern Utah. You talked about your WCC experience, first team all-conference selection one time, first team all-tournament selection twice, mm -hmm. also with the assistant coaching experience at Gonzaga and here at Santa Clara. How do you think that gives you an edge going into this job, knowing that you have so much experience with this conference? Well, I think I think I know and understand the WCC. Um, you know, as a, as a point guard, you know, gosh, this seems like a long time ago since I played. <laughs> um, but coaching in the conference, recruiting to the conference, and really, you know, just one of the neatest things is how much the conference has grown uh, in the women's basketball and their power ratings and things like that. It's one of the best conferences in the country, and um, and so that's a really exciting challenge. Well, we look forward to seeing what you can do on and off the court here at Santa Clara. Busy first day, so Coach J.R. Payne. Uh -huh. Thank, Thank you very you. much for your time. Thank you. And Denzel and Callie, let's send it back to you. Thanks, Coach. We're pleased to welcome you to the Santa Clara family and looking forward to seeing you out on the court next season. After the team's performance last week, women's water polo player Julia Peters was named WCC Player of the Week. The team wasn't able to pull away with two wins, but they defeated Sonoma State 17-10. That's right, Denzel. In their game against Sonoma State, seven Broncos were able to put the ball in the back of the net, giving them a comfortable seven-goal win. The women have two games coming up this week against Cal Baptist this Thursday at 3.30 and at UC Davis this Saturday at 12. Well, congratulations to our number 64 men's tennis team who upset number 39 Oregon last Friday 4-2. Oregon is now the highest ranked team that we've defeated this season. I Bronco reporter John Lamble stopped by early today to sit down with Sam Bertram to talk about the weekend. All right, Sam, we just defeated number 39 Oregon last week. Talk a little bit about what our team did to prepare for a big matchup like this. Uh, well, we, uh, we did 2020, the world famous 2020, how of we course. spend. Uh, each person pairs up with their doubles partner and they play for, they warm up 15 minutes as usual and. Uh, each person gets a dedicated 20 minutes each in order to work on anything that they feel that they need to work on or just to generally get in a good rhythm of things and uh, once again we did that before Oregon and everything worked out fine. Uh, we usually we, uh, we do a lot of fitness during the week but in the, the couple of days leading up to the match we sort of level off the fitness and uh, yeah everything's, everything turned out well. Obviously uh, number one Hydration, always number one is hydration, uh, and I think we hydrated. That's well. been a motto on our team this yes, year. Yes, there is a motto on our team. Yes, but uh, yeah, we really got on top of hydration. Exactly, and with only two matches left in the regular season, both of them at home, talk about what the team is doing to prepare for those matches and also the upcoming WCC tournament in San Diego. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep working on fitness because San Diego is a warm place. That's where the WCC championships will be. Uh, the next two matches are going to be tough. We're, we're very up and down with our wins. We beat some good, really, really good teams and then we have some tight losses to some not so good teams. Hopefully we can, everyone can bring their A game to the next two, next two games and get the number three seed and take out some ranks. Sounds good, Sam. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Welcome, mate. I'll see you out at the courts. Cheers. The men have two home matches this week as they play St. Mary's on Friday at 1, then again on Saturday at 1 against the University of Pacific. Good luck to the team. Well, softball faced Utah Valley and BYU this last weekend, where the women beat BYU 2-1 to one in Game 1. They now travel to Cal to play the Bears this Thursday at 3. Well, women's tennis hosted their last two home matches this weekend and were able to come out on top in both. The Broncos crushed Portland 6-1 to one and were able to carry that momentum into Sunday where they clinched the win against Gonzaga 2-0. to zero. I Bronco reporter David Gentile sat down with Katie Lee to talk about the weekend. 
Denzel Cali, thank you. I'm joined now by Katie Lee of the Santa Clara women's tennis team. And Katie, a successful weekend for you and the team going 2-0. and What went right in your matches against Portland and Gonzaga? Yeah, so we came out really strong in doubles, and that always sets the tone for the rest of the match. So we ended up getting the doubles point on both days, and that kind of set us up for 1-0. And going into it, we um, were really positive during singles, and that kind of turned it over for us. Be looking to feed on that momentum as you head into your last two matches, and it'll be a big singles match for you against Jenny Julian, the top-ranked WCC singles player out of St. Mary's. Mm -hmm. Said you played her twice already. What are you looking forward to about playing her again this third time around? Um, yeah, our team is really pumped up for St. Mary's just because they're kind of our biggest rivals, and um, we've been waiting all year for this match. Last year, we had a tough season as well, having Danny out, our freshman, who played four, and now we have her back in, and so for St. Mary's, um, we're definitely looking to beat them because they're one of the top teams in our conference. And me personally, she is currently ranked 10 in the country, and um, I'm currently tied with her now. I beat her once. She's also beat me once, and so this will be a really good match. Well, best of luck to you and the team as you wrap up the WCC regular season conference play. That's Katie Lee. I'm David Gentili. Callie and Denzel, let's send it back to you. The women will travel to St. Mary's this Friday at 11, then to Pacific on Saturday at 11. Stretch the 0-2 two-out pitch. He is served out in the left field, down for a base hit. Runner being waved around. The throw is going to come in from Woods to the plate to Berman, and that one is in time. Ball game over. The Broncos win it 6-5. to five. And the runner was being sent all the way, and it was a very good play from Kurt Woods out and left, throwing to Stevie Berman, and that will end this ball game after 10 innings. Well, baseball had a tough weekend in Spokane as the Broncos played 10 innings in their first two games. In game one, the Broncos clinched a 6-5 win over Gonzaga as Kyle Zaplak scored the game-winning run on a wild pitch. Games two and three were decided only by one run as the Broncos were unable to come out with a series win. But don't worry, the team will bounce back as they face San Jose State at home this Tuesday at 6. Then they'll head down to San Diego for their series this weekend. Congratulations to freshman golfer Annie Freeman who shot a career best final round score to put herself in the running for a three-way tie for first at the Wyoming Cowgirl Classic. The team was able to play second out of 20 teams. And congratulations to the men's golf team as they finished seventh in the Wyoming Cowboy Classic with a total score of 572. Good luck to both teams as they head into the WCC Championships this week. Well, women's soccer was able to beat Cal this last week, where Kat McAuliffe scored the winning goal. Upper V, left-footed shot, unbelievable. They'll now play Bay Area Breeze this Thursday at 7 at Buckshaw Stadium. And good luck to men's rowing as they'll now compete in the Stanford Invitational this Friday and Saturday. Well, that's going to do it for this week's Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. Go Broncos! Women's water polo player Julie, 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 Peters. Julie Peters. Oh. I should hit you. That's right, Denzel. <laughs> okay. Like, okay, this is the corniest show I've ever seen. <laughs> the women have two games this week. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was good, too. We were flowing. Denzel? Well, I was kidding. <laughs> That's all. That's all fucked. Kelly's taking a selfie. Hold on, I need. Go to for day day and they come back day day day. Ta 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 ta. Here we go. This is for Taco Bell right here, Denzel. All right. Okay. In my cheesy body to crunch. All right. Pat McAuliffe scored an unbelievable. Oh. That was kind of funny. 